I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What? Ah. What's going on, Beauty Bees? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Byron Shears, AKA Busy B. And as always, your gay best friend. Thank you so much for tuning um, into my channel, back to my channel today for a new video. I know I've kind of been, I don't know, some say I've been gone for a minute, some say I have not been gone for a minute. Seems like I'm uploading a video every few days. However, I've been away from filming now for almost a week and I'm so excited to film for you guys again. For those of you that do not know, I am a freelancer at MAC Cosmetics. I absolutely love working there. I love the MAC team that I work with. Everyone is great. And um, I was leaving work. I had on makeup because I typically wear makeup at work. And I was thinking to myself, what if I was going out right now? What if I got invited somewhere? And what if I was going out somewhere? Like, what would you do? So I thought about maybe going from Greece to Glam. All within, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, 15, 20 minutes. So when you get done with this video, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a like. You know, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I thoroughly appreciate you. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Like, it's free. Who don't like free stuff? It's free. So without further ado, let's get into this look. And, um... I hope you like it. <laughs> Love and light. Later. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is me getting off work from Mac. All day, grease, monkey. And um, we're gonna go to Glam. So, first things first, we're gonna get a two ply sheet of tissue, facial tissue, two ply sheet of facial tissue. It doesn't have to be expensive. So we're just going to kind of fly, and as you can see, it'll absorb, or you can't see because there's no need to be showing you, but it absorbs oil, but it'll leave the product there. So, that's the first thing we're going to do. So, the first product I'm going to go in with is the Shea Moisture Dusk. So, it's like Mandalay Dusk or whatever. So, and I'm going to, I'm using a MAC brush. I'll post the numbers down below because like I told you guys, my MAC brushes tend to, um, the numbers tend to rub off of them. So I'll put it down below. But I'm just gonna go in and kind of warm up my cheek and bring out like my contour area. Again, because um, we're going to dinner. Happy hour. So now because I want that to kind of lighten up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with our powder and I'm going to bake underneath, underneath that contour. So just with a dry, a dry beauty blender that I used from earlier today. That's why it's dirty, just in case. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder and I'm gonna clean up underneath where I put that dusk. So I'm 
just going to line powder down my smile line and around my nose. For this evening's affair, we're gonna wake that nose up. So make sure you put powder there as well. The middle is looking really good. If you want, you can go back and put powder like in the middle of the eye. I'm not gonna put powder in the middle of the eye because I'm liking how that looks. So while my powder is baking, I'm going to prep my lips. And I'm going to use um, the Mint Juleps Scrub Lip Scrub from Lush. And I'm just going to put a bit of that on my lips. Just to kind of remove the crust of the day. And now that that's done, gonna lick them so for the eyes I'm gonna go in with the mellow moderns palette from Mac cosmetics and I wrote the names of each of the colors that's on this palette I decided to go with the modern um, the mellow moderns palette from Mac cosmetics because I really like this palette. I use it a lot when I'm at work and I've never used it here on my channel. So, why not? It's blotchy all in the corners. So, I'm about to take care of that. Before I do, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe E2 brush and I'm just gonna wipe that bake off down at the bottom. So the first color we're gonna go into is cork. And I'm gonna take it and put it directly in the crease. And I was thinking it should be really easy. I'm gonna take the same cork eyeshadow and the same E17 brush and go underneath the lash line. Just finished smudging out what was already happening anyway. The second color we're gonna put into our eye on the same E17 brush, this is to be easy, is Persuade. And I'm not gonna run it into the crease. I'm going to do the outer portion of the eye and the inner portions of the eye. So the outer portion of the eye and the inner portion of the eye. Almost like a sandwich, pretty much. darkening up so you should have something like this and to further blow that out we're gonna take a 224 brush which is a little soft brown which is in the same palette every color I'm gonna use is out of this palette so a little soft brown dust off the excess and just kind of buff out those edges. With a Morphe M431 brush, 
go back in to just a little bit of that persuade on this pencil brush and we're going to drag it underneath the lower lash line So if you want to go all the way with this one, you can. You don't necessarily have to, but you can. Remember, this look is easy and I personally think it's effortless. So I'm gonna go back in with this Dry Beauty Blender and just a wee little powder. And I'm not gonna press it into the skin. I'm just gonna sit the powder there very lightly. Notice I'm not pressing down into the skin. I'm just basically allowing this powder to sit and fall. Now with our Morphe E14 brush, I'm going to go in with this really pretty color. It's called Green Smoke. I love a green. And so I'm just gonna pack one side of the brush As you can see, I'm just putting product on one side of the brush. And because it has shimmery now, I want that foil look, so I'm gonna use my MAC Charge Water Spray. And I'm gonna wet the brush and just put it directly in the center of the eye. Now with that same E17 brush, I'm gonna go in with a little of the Persuade and I'm just gonna buff those lines out. I'm gonna take this E17 and I wanna tap the carbon, just tap it. And I'm gonna reiterate what's on the outside and on the inside. Please be careful with the carbon because just like any black shadow, if you go too much, it can get out of hand really quickly. So I'm just gonna tap it and reiterate what's on the front and on the back. Just like that, just to give it just a wee little depth, okay? Morphe M431 pencil brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that cork I mean, what am I talking about, cork? I'm gonna take a little bit of that carbon and I'm going to reiterate underneath my eye, almost to my waterline, basically. A MAC brush, I don't know the name of this MAC brush or the number, but I'm gonna use it and I'll put it in the description box down below and it's dirty because I used it and it's not time to wash it. take a 224 and I'm gonna use cork and soft brown a mixture of them both and I'm just going to go down below and around our eye look just to kind of tie that in together so I'm gonna line my waterline with the smolder pencil from Mac cosmetics that obviously I use
let's go in with our extended play um, Giga Black Lash from MAC, top and bottom. So now I'm going to go in with the MAC 231 brush and I'm going to get Retrospect out of that same palette and I'm going to pop it just in the inner tear ducts. I'm gonna use is MAC Sunbisk. Can you see it? Sunbisk. And I'm gonna use it on a MAC 137 brush. So for highlight, I'm gonna use um, my two faves right now. Dark Horse from Jeffree Star and Laura Geller Gilded Honey, if I can find it. brush I really like this brush it puts your highlight on really soft and gentle so if you're about that life this would be perfect so I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna go all over because I'm not trying to save anything and I'm gonna go lower with this one just because it's cocktail hour and uh, we want to make sure that we have a fierce glow also, run the Jeffree Star right in the middle of the brows. Take the Lori Geller Gilded Honey and just do the very tops of the cheek. Hi there. Okay, so on to this lip combo so i tried a couple things out the first thing i thought i was going to use i did not use it was so ugly and that's all you need to know mac stone lipstick and there's no need to line the lips So this is gonna give us that rocker, that rocker chic look. It's cute. I found this, this is called Caramel Mousse and it's by Black Opal Cosmetics and it's this brownish gold color. And believe it or not, on top of stone, lipstick, Is it something totally different? So let's see. Which, mind you, this color looks really good because we have something very, very similar to it in our eyes as the transition color. So it'll play off very, very well. So Caramel Mousse Black Opal. Yeah. Do you like this lip combination? Like, I really worked really hard to try to find you guys a bomb lip for this look. And I think this is a perfect match. Max Stone with, um, what did I say? Caramel, caramel mousse. And again, I hope you like this look. So thank you so much if you made it this far into the video. That means you got a chance to see the entire look. And as always, I hope you like the look. Do you like the look? 
okay. Do you like the look? I hope you like it. Hey. Like, this look is really cute. Like, this look is for the millennials. Like, it's young, it's chic, it's modern. And I hope you get a chance to try it. And I hope you like it. And I hope you like the video. And I hope you became a subscriber. And I hope you come back. Week after week, I'll be here. On my channel, it's me, Byron Shears, Busy B, your gay best friend. Let's get acquainted. Let's love up on each other as I love up on you. Let's learn from each other, grow with each other, and build a lasting relationship. So in essence, my question is, are you my bestie or not? Leave me a comment in the comment bar down below. And um, I'm going to go. I'll see you all next time. And as I always say, be beautiful and love and light. Later.